Hello. Well, hello. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We had to fix audio issues because Anthony and Sarah were filming the uh, elementary, <clears throat> excuse me, curricula, and he messed with all the settings of my computer, which is why you didn't get sound on the countdown to like the last 25 seconds. You sounded a little like <clears throat> flimmy. The, the pressure here in South Florida is very wonky right it now. It is. And I just, I was outside getting something, making sure the chickens went back into their coop. It's all about the chickens. And Anthony is out there in the pool with three citronella candles. He's, he's sitting in the pool. On the edge of the pool is three citronella candles and he's going like this. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm cold. So he's using citronella candles to build a fire is while he's a, in the pool. Is this a bad parenting situation? I think so. Like, I don't know. What, what, what led us to this place? <laughs> in our lives. Okay, so, well, hello, my, I'm Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos, and here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down right here on this bench and talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's, that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Let's will we, see will we who's be in uploading here. a new recipe video tomorrow? I don't know. I haven't edited it anything yet. We do have a rest, couple of recipe videos coming. We do. And I think we just perfected a custard, a super easy, low carbohydrate, total carbohydrate yes. custard. I think you've gotten it. I think we've got it. We've, we've been messing around we. with it. We've been messing around with it for a while. You know it's not me. I was really trying to do it where you could make it in the microwave and it just won't work. Every time I'm using a protein powder and every time I do it, it curdles. Yeah. So the only way I'm finding that it works right is in a water bath in the oven. But I, the whole point was is trying to get a quick and easy thing for breakfast. But here's the thing. Are, don't you find that with a lot of like keto food? We should, it's okay for us to get out of the mentality that every single meal we eat should be nuked and it should take 14 seconds to make. Yes. Right? Like everything good about keto is like ribeye and brisket and curing your own bacon. And like, I mean, these things take time. It's yep. okay that it takes us longer than a hot pocket 10 seconds to like Yeah, but 30 have minutes a is a bit much. So I let's see know. who's in here. I think it's worth it. So Wright family is here, Vicky is here, Jason hey. Butler is here, Hello. Shanta is here, Chris and Miriam, Patty Epps, Carla is here, Deb is here. Hello. Uh, Emily is here, Janice is here, Christopher, Janice. Uh, Hungry Heath, Nan. Ooh, Heath was talking to Dr. Barry. Sandy is here. Len is here. I love that. Uh, Kathleen is here. Krista is here. Rhonda is here. Hey, Rhonda. Uh, am I missing anybody? Beth, Holly, Joe. Hey, Holly. Hey, Joe. Christopher said, I am waiting for the announcement uh, that Trick and Treat is canceled so I can buy tickets to go to Utah. Aww. I don't, I, I'm really hoping that like, I'm really hoping nothing happens. We are going to buy our tickets no, for our airline tickets, no matter, no matter what. what. And we're like, you know what? If they have to cancel it for some let's reason, just go hang out in we're Utah, just going to bother Chris and Miriam for a week. Let's just, let's we'll just go, harass those people. We'll take a ride people. down to the Redmond mine. Let's just, let's just do it. Just, you know what? Let's just move forward with life oh, anyway. I meant to watch it. We're, it's looking more and more like football is going to get canceled. There's a big thing going on in the state of Florida right now. Half of the state wants football, like, at least postponed a few months, and half of the state's like, hey, if there's counties that can't play, tough. We're playing without them. I was, of course, they're talking about the counties that win every single year. I was talking to your sister this uh -huh. afternoon, and she was talking about what this is going to do for her as far as watching sports because she's a super big sports aficionado. Like yeah, she, she loves, loves sports. sports. And it was so funny it was like we were on different planets because she's talking, she's saying like, I hear football and baseball and I'm hearing all of these like terms and I'm just like, yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I appreciate the fact that you're excited about this. I need to let her know though, because see we have T-Mobile and T-Mobile every Tuesday have special deals. Well, this week's deal was you get a free at season pass to watch all of the major league baseball games on MLB.com. Wow. 
I don't like watching baseball. Like, I don't mind going to a game, but you're never going to see me watching it on TV. It's kind of boring to me to watch on TV. And so, like, I'm just going to, like, hey, use... I created the account. Go ahead and use it because so, I can't use it. So we're in Florida. Well, I'm not going to use it. So it's a Marlins. This is the Marlins area. Yeah, but I'm a Mets fan. And I know. Um, but baseball to me just reminds me of getting the snot burnt out of the top of my head, being like burnt to the, the seats, and then the hot dogs. And I mean, I could just go and get a hot dog. Doesn't Don't hot dogs taste different at a sporting event than they do when you cook them the same hot dog at home yeah there's something magical that happens something different so just like toss the bun dogs. and i feel like you could still have this experience let's, let's see who else is in here so constance is here hey constance uh sandra is here hey, kim sandra. is here said happy thursday shelly is here oh and it's cool in michigan taker's mom does keto is here brandy's here said, said sam club has six pack of Quest chips for five eighty eight with a limit of four. We scored some Quest wow. chips for a dollar twenty a bag that were on clearance, clearance at our local GNC. Everything about our food says special. Absolutely. Down to the snacks. <laughs> the snacks are marked special. We're special. Chris Maybe said special. hot dogs at the sporting events taste expensive. Seriously, I can buy a prime rib for that much money. Serious, yeah. right? That's why we don't go to sporting events. Years and years ago, when John Paul was little, I actually had annual passes or season tickets for the Miami Dolphins. This is back when Dan Marino was still there, and um, it, they were an okay. They made it to playoffs every year. Yeah. Then um, Jimmy Johnson left, and Dan Marino retired, and they tore apart the team, and they quadrupled the tickets. Yeah. And I was like, I'm done. I went because I actually had a third ticket because my sister lives in New York, but it was so expensive to go to football games in New York. It was cheaper for me to buy a third ticket for the Miami Dolphins and she would fly down for like three games a year than it would be for her to go to like two games in New York. Yeah. So we just had the third ticket and I would bring friends and I brought John Paul and stuff like that. And then, like I said, they tore apart the team. They were horrible. And then they quadrupled the tickets. And I'm like, I'm done. I went from three tickets with a parking pass and I dropped down to two tickets with a cheaper parking pass and it was double the price of my three tickets. And we just stopped because it just got expensive. Do you know how many times I've run into Dan Marino at Fresh Market? Oh, really? Yeah, so Fresh Market is Whole Foods' more expensive brother. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like- I don't look, Anthony loves Fresh Market. I feel like Fresh Market could have like a specialty beard and facial, like a top hat. I feel like everyone that works there should be wearing an ascot. It's very expensive and they are piping in the classical music because something about classical music makes you feel like I need to spend money and, and yes, we need a gardener, something. So I only go there very, very rarely. Like I need something super specific and they don't have it even at Whole Foods and I'll go to Fresh Market and get it. Every single time I go there, Dan Marino is there. <laughs> Maybe he works there. You're talking about the one over in, uh, in Coral Springs, yeah. right? That's because he lives in Parkland. I know, but it's just weird, right? Like, oh, well, hello, Mr. Marino. Okay. Um, Chris, uh, Joe said he was up at the Costco by us. He was looking for us. Joe! If we, we need had, to get together for, like, coffee or something once all this comes, like, is over. Yeah, like, you once live, like, 20 minutes from us. We got to hang out. Uh, right family said, tell her uh, she did really good on her cooking video. Mike is here over on Facebook. I'm praying for you, right, family. I'm excited. We, we may have a job opportunity on the horizon. I'm excited. Let's see. And this song lets you stand up and dance. Yeah, somebody asked uh, why we have the countdown. It just allows us to make sure every, gives us that minute to make sure everything is done. And unfortunately, we were late with that. I have requested numerous times that our theme song be Boots and Pants. <laughs> Like boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. And I have been shut down by you, by the children, my mother. Everybody's like, no, stop. Chris said he's, he's got to check on his keto chow marshmallows that his daughter is making. Yum. Do they have the recipe for that on the keto it's chow? It's on the keto chow website. Why have we not made those? Speaking of, you know, websites, Utah companies, we did, we were over on the Redmond Facebook uh, thing. I wanted to remind everybody. So next Thursday, we are hosting the Redmond 24 hour fast. It's gonna start at 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, right? Mountain Daylight Time? Yes. I don't know Mountain Daylight is. Time, Utah time. 
Utah. 7 p.m. next Thursday. It's going to be a 24-hour fast. I'm very upset with you. Why? Because I did not say balls not one time today in that live stream, and there was not even a pat on the back. Thank you for not shaming me, Rachel. Like, I didn't shame us. <laughs> I made y'all proud. I didn't say anything uncouth. No, you didn't. So. Yeah, brag on me for that. Also, I put a coupon code down below. I, I got a text message that if anybody's interested in a chili or an Uller blanket, they are, are a pad. They're having a deal right now. I think it's like 25% off through the end of July. I think the code is by July. I put it down below. Are they worried that nobody's going to use that blanket when it goes into like the colder months because it's called chili? I mean, you, you can heat it up. Oh, it has a heat ses setting. Maybe if we got one for Anthony, he could stop trying to warm himself by citronella candle out there. Mine girl said, good evening, everyone. Just finishing up my dinner. Grass-fed hot dogs on an unbun. Wendy's Southwest avocado salad. Ooh. Topped off with some moon cheese. And for after dinner, our snack, ranch quest chips. That sounds flippin' amazing. We had for dinner, I made a chicken breast with shrimp fajita. Like, it, no, obviously, wraps. Just like a fajita salad. Salad. It was so good, and it is amazing how the seasoning changes it all together. Like, you go the taco route, or you season it almost like a barbecue side. It's a different experience every time. Joe wants to know, is the custard like an American pudding or a custard as a sauce? Like, the, It's kind of like got the texture of a flan. Yes. If Except you're, for it doesn't have the stuff on the bottom, obviously, the caramel on the bottom. If you're a fan, But it's that flan. flan custard kind of texture. Do you say flan or flan? Flan. He said, Rachel could always learn to edit, then she can help. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Can you even imagine? It would be like put together like a note from like a kidnapper for like a ransom note is what I feel like would be the video equivalent. DS said, hello, it's been a rough medical treatment week. Was definitely oh. looking forward to the 2KK live stream tonight. I'm so glad that you're here. And I'm sorry that you've been having a rough week. I foolishly took a little nap this afternoon. Have you ever taken a nap in error? Like Gail said, I missed her. I'm so sorry, Gail. I did not see hey. your name up there. I saw your name, but I thought I read it. Hello. Um, have you ever taken a nap and it was a bad move? You think that like taking a nap is always a good move, mm -hmm. but no. Like I woke up and I didn't know what time period we lived in. I forgot where I was. Like it was one of those naps that it was like, this didn't fix anything. Naps, taking a nap is the worst thing for me. I just get a headache when I wake up. I usually, it's just enough to reset me. There's times when you can like perfectly time a nap and like the length intersecting with the, the time in which you're taking it is perfect. Um, but this was one of those ones. I literally woke up and was like, am I colonial? Is this the colonial period? Like, I really didn't even know what time period we were living in, in history. Shelly said, so if it's canceled, we can all just hang out in Utah anyways. Like I said, we're gonna go. We're yes. going for a week. Yes. And uh, I don't think Chris and Miriam knew we were coming for a week, but we're coming for surprise, a week. Surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. So yeah. We'll if, live if somewhere you, else. If, we'll bring a we, tent. We're there, so. If you're there and they have to, and they cancel it or something, they it have no choice and you cancel it or something like that. It won't that. be nearly weird if we just pitch a tent in their front yard. No. That won't cause You'll the, be at the, home. You can live with the chickens. There we go. Oh, yes, because they have chickens. That's right. <laughs> Yay. Visiting chickens. Uh, Chris said, I'll be hanging out. You might as well, too. Awesome. My family said they think they're going to have football here. Not likely. Yeah, I don't, you know what it is? I, I, You almost want them to just make a decision so you can plan. It's that like, have you ever had the feeling that you wanted to go and still had the feeling that you wanted to stay? Like, I don't know what we're doing and that well, frustrates me. Well, what's happening me. here in Florida is, so the governor said schools have to open. The problem is that a lot of the counties down here, now even Orlando and stuff, but a lot of the counties down here, like there's a lot of issues going on and you have a lot of people. and. Florida is a big state and it's very different. When you get up into the panhandle and to like out on the certain areas of the West Coast, you're talking about, there was, I was watching the live stream of them arguing from the other day about this, like I people from the state. I can't watch arguing live streams. And the one guy was like, you know, our high school has 386 kids aged from grade seven to grade 12. And I'm like, Anthony had more than 387 kids in his um, virtual school program. Right, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, you're talking about high schools in Broward County that have like, you know, 700, 800 kids in a grade level. Yeah. I have relatives that are teachers. And there's like, a high school in every corner. In the middle of the state. And they were like, well, you know what? We'll make a decision in like you know, later in August for September. And I was like, oh my Lord, you can't do that to me. You can't tell me that like, we're gonna decide what we're gonna do, but only have like a week. Right. So yeah, so the governor said that they need to go back to school. And so some of the the um, athletic directors are like, if they need to go back to school, how can we tell a kid it's okay to go in a lunch line, but it's not okay to get on the field and play sports? I have a problem with the fact they're saying the athletes will be on the field, but if they do go back, Anybody who's on the sidelines, like, you know, coaches, players who are not actively in a play will have to wear masks and still will officials. Huh. Well, That's gonna be I hard. got news for you. Here's If an athlete doesn't have to wear a mask, why do I as an official have to wear a mask? Because my problem is this. I'm older. Are you? The chance that I'm going to run out of breath is greater than Aww. a 17-year-old athlete. And so if anybody shouldn't have to wear a mask, it would be me. But I don't want to officiate in a mask. I, I don't think if we have to officiate with a mask, I'd rather us wait and make sure that all of these safely. kids are safe. But there's a lot of argument going on in the state because some areas of the state don't have any issues. And there's other areas that do have issues. And they're like, well, you're going against what the governor said. Doesn't this make for like a very like... Isn't this what, like, the driving equivalent of this is not being able to commit to a lane and makes you really more dangerous? <laughs> well, my thing is this. If colleges are canceling yeah. and the NFL. professionals like the NFL and the NBA and Major League Baseball are all taking all of these precautions, like, you know, the NBA is only playing in Orlando kind of thing and, and you know, there's no fans for NFL Orlando? games and the, and the NFL players, there's no preseason at all. If they're taking all these precautions, why are we not taking precautions for high school athletes? Like, is how much money is riding on high school athletes? Yes. I mean, for these kids, I worry more about like their college scholarships. But yeah. I mean, we have to protect their health too. I know. It's it's such a it's it's so crazy. Constance said basketball comes back on June on July 30th, NBA, and July 25th for, for the, the WNBA. WNBA. I think we just I need to see this even i need to see some sports right like i need to root for something right now in this season so christopher said i told my wife many times the best hot dogs you can get are at a baseball yes game. even if it's the cheapest hot dogs you can buy boiled in a crock pot and sold for 50 cents at a little game now i'm going to Literally. argue with you christopher the best place to get a hot dog is on a street corner in new york city no or in front of home depot do you hear what he's saying right now? Do you think... Dirty water dogs are the best hot dogs. Give me what? a thumbs up. Get, do me a favor. Dirty Hit the like button water. on the stream if you think that dirty water dogs are the best hot dogs. It's alarming. Do you know what they call some of the stands that sell hot dogs out of them? Roach coaches. No, that's different. No. I've seen Dirty them. water dogs are not in roach coaches. Roach coaches are the guys who drive up to all like the different like constructions. Why are they like, called dirty water dogs? I don't want to eat something Because you're cooking dirty the water. hot dogs in the same water all day long. The water gets changed every day. It does? Are you sure? Yes. In your I opinion? had a friend of mine who actually owned one of those. Yes. That gets changed. They're under a lot of health scrutiny, but... Oh, it looks like it. The And the further along in the day, the better the hot dog tastes. Oh, because they've been in, like, they've been in the all juice cooking, sauce. Yes, cooking all that stuff. Wow. Um, Dana said, amazing getting ready for vacation, leaving uh, Sinjay for the mountains. Our Ooh, Sunday, I'm assuming. Ooh, that is nice. I wish we were leaving for the mountains. Miriam said they had our keto chow chili for dinner last night and lunch today. Yum. I love chili. That is definitely something that tastes better later. See, now, Shelly likes her, doesn't like boiled hot dogs. She likes some crispy burnt. The second best hot dog are Nathan's hot dogs cooked on the griddle in Nathan's. But again, I'm from New York, so I actually used to go to Coney Island and get them. You don't have any, like, like, I, I feel like you're biased, like completely biased. No, I'm not. You go throw them on a Blackstone, they're just as good. Yes, they are. But, I mean, yeah, on a griddle. Like, not on a barbecue, on a griddle. they got to be on a griddle. I like them to, to be charred a little bit. Like that, I don't, I like that. There, it's not everything that I want to be like a little bit burnt, but like I want them to be a little bit burnt. What is your feelings? How do, how do you, how do you take your hot dog? Is it a little bit burnt? 
Where do you like it? Do you like it on a griddle? Do you like it on a grill? How do you like your hot dog? Casey's here. Hello from Texas. Hey. Finally caught a live chat. Glad you're here. So let's see. Funny about talking about hot dogs. Yes. <laughs> Hot dogs is, it, and it's it's something. Keto Dana sees John Travolta at her Target all the time. No, you do not. I would never think about John Travolta shopping at Target. Oh my gracious, I was absolutely, we've been praying for, for that family. Yeah. Oh my goodness, when Kelly Preston passed away. Like that was just, what? Uh, Miriam wants to know what your shirt says. She loves your earrings. It says, I am unstoppable. I actually put this on, took a nap. Turns out I am totally stoppable. <laughs> I'm absolutely stoppable. Joe said, but Fresh Market has $2.99 ground chuck and chicken breast on Tuesdays. As you know, high quality is along with everything else they have there. Yes. I've never bought there. Wow. Rachel came home with a bunch of ground chuck the other day from Publix for what, a dollar, like $29 a pound or something like that? So I was talking to somebody from Publix and they were saying that, um, the response to thinking that there was really going to be a tremendous meat shortage, a lot of the uh, supermarkets, and Publix included, purchased a tremendous amount of hamburger in anticipation that it was going to be in demand, but like they would not have the supply for it. Right. And it wasn't, it turned out not to be as, so they have a bunch of as severe. So this is the time to get your hamburger meat because they bought it in bulk and now they have it and now they have to discount it and so we got it what was it a dollar 49 a pound and yeah. i'm like we may never see that price again nope and we didn't even need any we probably have like 40 pounds of ground beef in the free in the freezer but i'm like at that price you gotta like just load up and i also like that it's in like the individual packages because then the kids could just grab it and yeah, make each hamburgers. one's like a pound and a half it's like, like just right shelly said anybody remember the 409 commercial where the hot dog exploded in the microwave I do not remember that. How many of you guys? Shelly said she didn't eat hot dogs after that commercial. Really? Okay, so I toured part of our, like, I don't know where they come up with field trips for, for elementary age kids, but like one of my field trips was touring a hot dog facility. And it was interesting to say the least. It, it would, took me a while to eat a hot dog after I saw that. It was very clean. Everything was absolutely clean, but, um, the way they're saying like, oh, we mix different animals together because they were mixing like, it was like the, the meaty jumbo, anything called the meaty jumbo. Like we could have raccoon and possum and beef and like duck, everything inside of that hot dog. And it put me out for a while, but I don't know. I just love a hot dog sometimes. Shanta said her and her daughter are gonna do the fast. Awesome. And Jenna said she still can't get the season salt. Yes, I actually messaged Julie about that today because we were on their website looking for the garlic salt and the lemon pepper, which Rachel really likes. I and love their lemon pepper. They all come from the same place. And so again, there was a manufacturing issue. So she did say within a couple of weeks, they should have everything back. I so hope so. I'm excited because the like, we're almost salt. out of seasoning salt. And yeah, we're starting to ration it like I'm like, hiding it. Like we're in, you know, an apocalyptic situation where it's like if I start to like shake it a couple times on my food, he's like, Do you really need that? <laughs> Is this a is this a make it or break it situation? Joe said he he'll come up anytime. Awesome. Chris posted the recipe for the keto root beer float keto chow marshmallows. Ooh, Mike says I'm here on Facebook and YouTube, and YouTube is the more active platform by far. That is so interesting. I always like to go for church and sort of like jump in both the Facebook Live and the YouTube, go back and forth and see like who is using what. Right. And it really is, like there's whole groups of people that like one platform versus another. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Uh, April said, my hubby Tom just found our first snake in the chicken pen getting our eggs. We usually get around six to eight a day with our eight Whoa. hens. And for a few days we've got none. The oak snake is no more. I am so glad, but man, that is a huge fear of mine, April, that I am going to like open up that box and It'll find freak somebody the girls out. in it. It will freak them out. But I feel like they'll be very vocal about it. I had a mom picking up their kid from daycare moment. If you've ever had a child in daycare, there is a super special moment when you go to pick them up for the day and they're just like, that's my mom, recognize you and just dart for you. I love that feeling, right? There's something super special about like, 
I am. I'm that person's mom, and they're super excited to see me. Well, I came back from my you meeting know the this morning. Chickens are not kids. They ran from across the yard when they saw. I was like, "Hey guys!" And they came running toward me with like kid from daycare look on their face to greet mom. That's just because they thought you had mealworms. That's fine. I'll take it. I was super <laughs> excited. Uh, Angie said, "You crack her up." You crack me up. Oh, okay. Um. Devin wants to know if your sunburn has cleared up. It is so ugly back there. It is like, it's a, it's crisscross applesauce all across my back. And now it is starting to peel. I've been putting a lot of like. Oh, that was text message was actually from Julie. The intensive like lotion on my back. Right. Like that's supposed to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. And it's still kind of itchy. So yeah, I was sitting in a meeting today like. I'm sure they were like, what's, peeling. what is going on here? Uh, Kathleen said, good evening to hey. KK family, Rachel and Joe. Joe, did you see the dream coop I posted? I, I have did. not had a chance to get on Facebook I today. I did. Did you? It was a dream coop. I, keep I could making, live in that. I keep making additions to our coop. So yesterday, <laughs> I put on an automatic coop door. I actually really like that because... I don't know what time they're going to get up, but I and I'm a little bit paranoid that they're going to start getting noisy because I haven't gotten up to let open the door. Right. So the fact that when the sun comes up, it just sort it will, of opens. I have a program that will automatically open up when it gets light out, and then it will close. Right now, I have it set for nine fifteen because it doesn't get dark until it doesn't about nine o'clock. So right before. They were just starting to head up into the coop when the live stream was starting. It was one of the reasons that we were a couple minutes late. I had to go check on them because yesterday when in. I put it on, I had had it for close the door when it gets dark. Well, they it closed the door because it's kind of under a roof and it wasn't completely dark yet and they were locked out. <laughs> So now I've changed it to close at a specific time, which I know is well past dark. You, you should be like, hey, ladies, get your butts home. Or by a certain time, we're like locking you out of like the boarding house, right? It felt very like like old school boarding house. Um, yes. And you know what I thought was a really sweet dad moment is Joe made a low lying roost for Hannah. Which she doesn't go on. One of our Brahmas, because he is trying to get her to roost, and she is just not having it. She is not flying I'll pick up. her up and put her up there. But she, she she does not go of her own accord. And he thought, well, maybe it's just too high, and she wants to, like, live lower no, on the ground. No, she's just simple. She just, bless her heart, <laughs> she's trying. She's really trying. Uh, Line Girl said, I'm not a fan of chicken breast, but I made my own chicken nuggets the other day. So much better and tastier wow. than any standard American diet varieties I used to consume. Oh my gosh. Okay, so chicken nuggets from McDonald's, I always had an issue with because you would bite it. And did you ever get that you weird? You get the cartilage. The knob. I was certain every time that it was an eyeball. I always thought it was an eyeball. Chris said we're coming for three weeks. Three weeks? Awesome. That would be, ooh, that would be really awesome. Ride family said if Rachel edited the video, she would randomly put clips of her saying balls in the middle of the video. Like subliminal things like balls. Yes, I would totally so, do that. So, Serious Keto put a video up on how to make nut milk, like almond milk, which I was going to actually do that video a couple months ago, and I'm just you like, yeah, I'm not going to bother with this. You didn't draw did, my attention to that video, Joe. No, but... In the beginning of the bag, in the, he's like, okay, pour the milk into the nut milk bags and then squeeze the nut bags. And I'm like, oh my God. And he's like, I'm trying not to laugh. And I'm like, I, the, the comments, I'm so glad I didn't make that video because I was going to make it like a couple months ago and I opted not to make, it, make you're, that. You're not even dealing with the comments from, from viewers. You're going to have to deal that's with the I'm, comments from me. That's why I'm like, yeah. I, I was just like, all I could think about was every comment that you would have made every time I said nut milk bag, nut squeeze milk bag. the nut milk squeeze bag. Squeeze it, squeeze that. Like, <laughs> April said our chickens have been laying for about six months. Really? That is, that's awesome. The, the 
four that we have, the what are they? What are we? They're the red stars. They were called golden something. Then we when we bought golden comets or golden what? golden buffs. I think Gold, they were called. I don't know, but it's. I golden, know they have a b- bunch of different names. Ice of Brown. They should be laying in the next like three to four weeks. They will tend to lay somewhere is what she told me around twelve weeks. The ones that they have. So we'll probably have to start putting some straw into those nesting boxes to encourage them to go in there. Um, Carla said, my birthday is on Sunday, July 26th. I will be 65, fasting better, uh, feeling better than I did at 55 because of the keto lifestyle. I love hearing that. Can we sing, Carla, happy birthday? Absolutely. I know it's ahead of time, but let's do it now. Ready? Yep. Happy Happy birthday birthday to you. you. Happy Happy birthday birthday to you. you. Happy Happy birthday, birthday, dear Carla. Carla. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you, you and many more. I always love the number 65. I just think that is a cool birthday number. I just love it. Shannon said, I'm confused. Expanded my eating window and lost one and a half pounds on vacation. Once I returned, I went back to skipping breakfast. You know, I think changing it up does something. We talk about that all the time. I, I, I truly believe in changing it up. And, you know, sometimes, believe it or not, you will actually lose more weight increasing the amount of food you eat because, and you know, we've talked about it, and yeah. Chris and Miriam have talked about it. Your body is a really interesting mechanism, and it do, it knows what to do if you give it absolutely no food. That is ketosis. Right. It'll just start going after your fat supplies. But when you give it just a little bit of food, it starts going, hey, what do I do? I, I'm not getting enough food to do everything, but I'm getting some food, so let me just slow everything down. It will so, start shutting down your hair. It will start shutting down right. your skin so, cells. Yeah, when you increase your calories, some your body will ramp up your metabolism and you can actually burn more fat. It's just finding that right place, you know? And it's always seems like it's changing mm-hmm. and morphing. And it can also be challenging if you're eating the same as a couple. Right. Because he, he's very different than me. So sometimes we will hit a stride where I'm experiencing like great success and he feels frustrated and then vice versa. Right. Where it's like, well, you know what? This is finally working for me. And I'm like, really? Because it feels like it's not working for me. Um... Camp at the KC Warehouse, yes. So Joe said, that sounds great, an American pudding, even if uh, it took half an hour, if it was correct, I'm all in. I've never heard of the difference between American and British pudding, so that's all oh. news to me. Oh, it's, it's well, I've we've done like, um, you know, like for like Christmas time, you get like British puddings sort of make a, a comeback. It's, it's very interesting, different consistency. So Kathleen said, Utah in autumn is wonderful in all the areas, hope we'll meet up. Oh, I can't wait. So Gail said, I'm not normally a nap taker, but the humidity got me a couple of days this week and I had to take a nap. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like we I think it's so far. I'm behind. sorry. I think it's a good thing. It's just like I today obviously was like, I should have thought about it. Or maybe it was the time of day. Maybe if I had taken it at like one or something and not at like six. Um, Atreya said, school here is quite a big fight. City of Columbus was ordered to open, and the superintendent said no. That's pretty much what's going on in Broward yeah. County and Palm Beach County. Man. Uh, Chris said, we're going to have Joe and Rachel glamping in our backyard. It'll be amazing. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to roast some weenies on a campfire. That is, w- okay, wait a second. That is my favorite way to have a hot dog. On a stick no. over a campfire. No. Yes. Yvonne is here. Said, hey, Hello. Yvonne. Um... Patty said we have schools in Utah with 3,000 students in 10th through 12th grade. Yeah. Wow. Here in Illinois, they've talked about serving grade school kids food in their classroom. Yeah, we've heard that too. Yep. That that you might not have a cafeteria. Tara Simpson's here. Hello. How's it going? Uh, Miriam said our schools haven't said what they're going to do about lunch. We need to just teach kids to fast. Right. Just eat when you come home. We're sort of going to be teaching that to the kids at church, right? Like usually we would have a snack and I'm actually tickled pink that we, we won't be able to do that. We're not going to be serving, you know, cookies and Cheerios anymore, but I think it's ultimately going to be a good thing. Right. Family said it's also okay to go to Walmart with a mask, but we get asked, should you really be attending church right now? Yes. 
Uh, Mike said the pandemic will last until sometime between election day and inauguration oh, day. Oh, we were talking about completely agree. Even we were talking about that down, down here, like right now, like November fourth. The no churches be, and stuff like that. It'll be settled. We're like, watch, everything is going to go back to no, back to normal on November fifth because Whatever right now everybody's is. worried about election day. Everybody's and everybody no like where our be, churches is up for election. Well, nobody wants to be decisive on every, any issue. They just right. want everything to just kind of like stay in, you know we're sort of in purgatory here like don't make a decision about anything but like at least it may not be decisions that you like but there will be a decision made i think in november okay we're up to the hot dog stuff so <laughs> avon said i've been running around like a chicken without without a head i'm surprised i'm even making the live stream. i'm glad I'm you're glad here you yvonne and i have those days it just happens <laughs> he said dirty water dogs are what caused covid <laughs> I think it's at least where pink eye started. And Krista said street meat is the best. Street meat. <laughs> Christopher said, I've not had a hot dog from a New York street corner. Unfortunately, I hear they're great. The hot dogs at old Yankee Stadium were great. They were dirty water dogs. They were the original hot dogs from when Yankee <laughs> Stadium opened. <laughs> See, Chris said the water is way too hot to grow any pathogens. Leave it to the, you know, Good to the to engineer know. and the scientist. But I still, it's just like, it, it's like the image that I have in my head does a lot. I was talking to my mom's friend and she was talking about how she always goes to this one particular restaurant and orders frog legs. And she lost me. As soon as she said, I love their frog legs. Now all I can think about is like wiggly legs, and they may be the greatest food ever, but like all I can think Mike of. Mike said Costco is the best legs. place to get hot dogs, $1.50. Yes. Completely agree. They stay with me all day though. But they do, you do taste them the entire day. I burp them all Costco day long. Costco loses so much money on those hot dogs. People don't realize, like they, they don't make any money. It's a, it's a, the money loser, but they, people go people. there for the hot dogs. We did? And for the chick, oh yeah, before keto, we used to take the kids like on Friday, come on guys, we're going out to eat and we'd go to Costco, hot dogs and pizza. How could, well, I mean. Even, I mean, it was like $15 even, for a pizza and everybody gets a hot dog and a soda. And even now, like you can go and get the hot dog, but like, yeah, it is a weird, I don't know what spice or whatever is in there that makes me burp it, but it is with me all day long. It's good though. Devin said, I used to love Home Depot dogs. How hilarious. You're good. We see you. Good. We're just, we just drone on. It don't. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> the problems with live streaming. Well, you got me talking about hot dogs. And i that's a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. So I'm very passionate about that. <laughs> Mike said technical issues stink. Again, it's what's weird is they were telling us that Everything's like fine. we were online. It says on air down there. It's so weird. So... Anyway, we were talking about burping Costco hot dogs. We were talking about burping Costco hot dogs. Yeah. Trisha's house said, I've been stalled since April. I drink keto coffee for breakfast. I think I'm going to try keto chow for breakfast and lunch and see what happens. I think it's worth giving it a shot mm -hmm. and just seeing because we've enjoyed good success using keto, at, um, keto chow. And I think that especially if you're doing a keto coffee, you're using it like as a meal, as a breakfast. And mm -hmm. I think you're going to get so much more out of keto chow and it stays with you, right? Like you feel satiated for a lot longer. I've definitely done a lot of different keto coffees and I don't get satiated by them the way that I do keto chow. Right. So I, so I did see that Rhonda asked about if anybody saw Thomas Alaro's video asking about protein to fat ratios. I know Chris answered, but I was going to just mention it. Um, so for a while, a lot of people thought about with protein that if you eat too much protein, your body's just going to turn it into glucose. Right. You know, and have gluconeogenesis. So like, oh my gosh, don't eat too much protein. And now more studies have shown that that's not true. Gluconeogenesis is demand-driven, not supply-driven, which means right. your body will create the glucose when you need it, not just because it has the supply. We have experimented with high fat, where we have high fat, we have a lot more cognitive function, but sometimes we feel a little sluggish and we don't lose as much weight or we'll even gain weight eating right. too much. It's a delicious time in our so lives. So it's finding the balance for your 
body. And that's something that, you know, Keto Savage talks a lot about. You've got to find the, everybody's got a different protein threshold where, where you're going to feel optimal. And that's what you've got to figure out. And it's about experimentation. Well, and here's the thing. It changes as you lose weight and that makes sense so i think a lot of times what we do is we set our macros or we set what we're trying to accomplish at the beginning of our goal mm -hmm. and then as we are achieving success and having success we don't adjust things right but now you're not the same size that as you were before and you don't have the same like lifestyle as far as like as sedentary i am certainly not as sedentary now as i was back then so my needs are different than i was it was a hundred years ago where i never got off the couch right i was a hundred pounds and never got off the couch right. so like it's it's a much different thing so i didn't want to tweak my calories or my intake or my fat i i want to keep it the same because that's what I want because right. it's very delicious. But sometimes you have to adjust it depending on what your goals are. And for the last week, we have actually, we have a video, it'll probably come out. I thought it was gonna come out tomorrow, but it's probably gonna, we're gonna tomorrow's our last day of it. And then I have to edit the video. But so for the last like eight days, seven, eight days, we've been experimenting to see how we feel on a protein sparing modified fast. And it has been, very interesting. So the protein sparing modified fast, and we've been following Maria Emmerich's protocol, is very high protein. Actually, it's it's every other day, extremely high protein, very low fat, like less than 30 grams of fat for the day. Yeah. And very low calorie on those days. You're talking about like, I think Rachel's at like 800 calories on those days. Um, it's gotten pretty raw. It's a very here. short term thing. You don't do it long term no. at all. But the idea is just to give yourself a jump start. But it's interesting to see what eating very high protein does. So, like, do you get satiated during the meal? Yes. But you get, like, Rachel, like, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock the next day, she was like, I've got to eat. I'm like, it's 12 o'clock. Like, we never eat at 12 o'clock. Again, it's like if I'm fasting, I don't feel that way. But when you're giving me right. not as much fat... Right. I so I'm getting a bunch of calories, mm -hmm. and I'm not feeling as happy about my life as I am when we're fasting. Like but, that's a weird dynamic for me, and it's it's I we've done a lot of self reflection. It's been interesting because even eating that very low calorie, it is a lot of food because it is a lot of protein. Yes. So you're eating a tremendous amount of protein with very little fat. So you're getting a bulk of food, but no fat in it, and it's. It isn't that easy to come up with 800 calories of food with protein and n no carbs and no fat. And it's even harder when your wife is looking at you with this face. <laughs> when I've got this face looking at you, like you better dazzle me, son. Like it's it's not it's it's been challenging. Miriam I, said, "I wonder what you guys were doing. I should have guessed protein sparing modified fast." So it has been interesting, but and, and we get we have a whole video coming out on it, but it's. Again, it is not a long-term thing. If you do something like this long-term, you will screw up your metabolism because it is a very low calorie. It's as close as you can get to fasting without actually fasting. You know, really one of the reasons people do it, like a lot of paleo people do it yeah. because they don't believe in long-term fasting anything more than just like intermittent fasting because they're worried about not having protein and then losing muscle mass. So this is a way to preserve your muscle mass but you're fasting fat and carbohydrates. Yeah. But it's it's been an interesting experiment. I did not expect to have the emotional response that I have had. We did learn though that keto chow with just almond milk yes. is pretty tasty. It is delicious. Yes, it's still, and we've been able to- It's been to, a great way to get the protein in. We've still had ice cream. Yeah. But it's it's very, it's different. because but And you are still getting your electrolytes, you're still getting your nutrients, everything that you want from the keto chow, and you're basically losing your using your own fat on your body as the fat, but it's been So Mike wants to know how you get in that much protein. Uh, a lot of egg whites, chicken breast. Shrimp. So shrimp. Um, Great source of protein if you're looking for low carbs and low yeah calories. so a lot of egg, a lot of egg whites a lot of chicken breasts like you know chicken thighs have a, obviously a better taste because you have that fat chicken breast can be kind of bland so you have to do a lot of seasoning but that's been a lot of it we also 
found at um, what you call it, Aldi. Aldi yes. had this shaved steak, which was very, very lean. It is coming into the rest of our life. Like and we are it's taking been that great. out it's of this. It's been a great way of having like fajitas and things like that with a, not a lot of fat. I think that like the package is like seven servings, but it's only a hundred calories per serving and only like two grams of fat per serving. So we just split a whole package right. for a meal, but it is, but it, it was delicious. It is, it is interesting to try to eat that many calories of mostly protein. I would just like to report back that our marriage has survived this particular challenge, and I'm very proud, very, very proud of that. <laughs> Chris said, uh, protein sparing modified for dummies, keto chow with only water, and chicken and tuna fish. There you yeah. go. I don't do tuna fish. But yeah, we, we were like, how Can do I get so much, so much protein in? And we, at the end of the day, we we're like, okay, well, let's do a keto chow. We would do it with almond milk and water, like half almond milk, half water. We'd it'd get really, really thick, sometimes add a little bit of guar gum, but it's a lot of protein. It would give us some of the nutrients and stuff that we might not be getting by only eating chicken breast. Right. But then the almond milk added just a touch of fat and a little bit of thickness and flavor. And also, we had vegetables. Yeah, we've been eating a lot of salad. A salads, because that was the way to, to, to get it in and add a little bit of girth so you're not totally ticked off. And our salad's pretty much lettuce. And it was funny because it had been a while since mm -hmm. we had eaten anything green, really, because we don't usually eat a lot of vegetables. So Christopher wants to know what is special about keto chow? Isn't it just regular protein powder? So we have a lot of videos on it. And I mean, be honest, when we first tried keto chow a little over a year ago, we were like, ah, I don't know. I thought it was the same thing. It was just protein powder. But now what they do is they actually add in nutrients and electrolytes to it. And so they actually sell something on their website called base powder, where you can get any protein powder you want and basically make keto chow by adding the base powder to it, base powder to it. And they use good quality vitamins and electrolytes and stuff. So each one of those shakes will give you a third of all of the nutrients and electrolytes you need for the day. So they don't really talk about doing it for three meals a day, which is what we had thought when we yeah. first saw it, which is why we're like, oh, not for us. But a lot, we'll use it as a grab and go once in a while, but drinking one of those will be, it's better than going to a fast food restaurant. Yes. Or, Quick. you know, cheating and having something that you probably shouldn't have, and you're getting all of the vitamins and nutrients, or at least a third of them. And so I that's will, the difference. And I will say that it makes very easy great delicious ice cream that has the perfect amount of sweetness to the point that we almost exclusively use that as our ice cream i mean we will get rebel we will get not light much, and, you know but we don't get it as much because it's just so easy to make a quick batch of ice cream you know one ice cream right. or two ice creams and get different flavors don't have to go to the store and I think it's much more cost effective. But I actually messaged Chris today because again, I've been trying to cook with it to make up different ex recipes for like using protein powders. And I'm like, what is in this that is different than other protein powders like IsoPure and Quest because it's reacting differently. Yeah. And I think I, I finally narrowed it down because the Quest, he, Chris thought maybe it was like casein because they have casein in it. and. But I look, Quest Protein Powder has casein, and I think it comes down to it is the electrolytes and stuff. The salt from the electrolytes is making a difference. Yeah. So I figured out how to finally work around it, but that is the big difference between them. Rhonda said, just eat schoolyard Cheetos all day. That has definitely been a bag a day because I'm lots of protein. I'm leaning on them. I'm not gonna We're lie. almost out. <laughs> I am leaning on them Cheetos. Uh, Mara said, I can't wait for that video. But it was interesting because, you know, we love pork and good pork rinds too. But it was like, I can't reach for those. Mm -hmm. I got, they got too much fat. So I got to go the schoolyard snacks route because they don't have a lot of fat. And they take a while to eat. Exactly. Mike said, yeah, keto chow blended with ice and no fat is delicious. That's what we've been doing. We'll, we'll yeah. do like, what we'll do is like eight ounces of almond milk and then ice to make it like a thick milkshake. Yeah. Christopher said, I bet Joe ate canned tuna all week. Loads of protein without fat. Yeah, no. He, we we, we did ate a lot of canned, canned chicken, chicken. Which isn't the greatest, I know. It but, does have some like MSG and stuff in there. Well, but. I don't know. The ones, Some of the ones we got didn't have that. Yeah. It was just like. Some of them do, though. Some of the, the Kirkland signature was had a little bit better ingredients, I think. You have to be careful with tuna fish, too. We found out that, like, look at most of your canned tuna 
it's got vegetable juice in it. Yeah. Even the ones that it's like tuna fish in water, you look on the back and you're like, what? First of all, what? Why is it in vegetable juice? And never juice? buy tuna in oil because it's almost always in a bad oil. But it's like, buy it in water. Why is tuna fish in vegetable juice? And what vegetable juice? <laughs> what is the vegetable that it is sitting in? Uh, Mike said, I ate a can of sardines yesterday. That's another great way. I, we didn't go that route. Now, Mike says, if you can survive a week of keto bricks, only you can survive this. I almost, the keto bricks. I week, miss my keto bricks. Way easier than this because in the, it fills least, you up. At least for me, I am all about being satiated. Mm -hmm. Like I want to feel full and the keto bricks, I almost, because they are so high in fat, I almost can't get a brick down which is weird for me. Steph said, I've been getting where I don't care for canned food like chicken or tuna. Would, would rather, rather have, have fresh. We would absolutely have fresh. Sometimes, but you know, again, our thing is, is that canned, again, it's not, there are usually some, some kind of like preservatives or something like that in the canned chickens. It's a nice thing to have in the cabinet as a go-to. Like right. you get home, hey, I forgot to defrost some chicken. I don't have anything. What am I going to eat? Some people will order out. Some people, you know, it's always nice. You can grab a can of that chicken and Rachel will add mayonnaise. I'll throw it on the Blackstone, throw a little bit of seasoning on there and kind of just griddle it up. I, I like it. Um, one of the other meals that we, we did definitely found was eating the canned chicken with the bone broth because they're still very low in calories if you're eating the, you know, the kettle and fire and mm -hmm. they have different flavors, which was good. The other thing that honestly I feel like we discovered once again for the first time was shrimp. Yes. Shrimp is versatile, especially if you get those cooked shrimp. I can have a meal in my hand very, very quickly. I will say always consider there is a carb in a serving. Every package yeah. pretty much says there's no carbs, but there is a little bit of a carb in shellfish. So I would say every serving is one carb, even if the serving bag says zero carbs. But they cook up very fast. Mm -hmm. And even just eating them, and let me tell you, the Alterna Sweets ketchup Spicy. is the perfect cocktail sauce. Yeah. It is the perfect cocktail sauce for shrimp. So Gail said Aldi does not have that shaved beef all the time. I wish they did. Oh. I didn't think they did either. So when we went the other day, and we're going to go back tomorrow and check, I bought every package they had. They had six we packages. Like crazy we people. grabbed them all because they're like $5.50 a package too. That is super cheap. So we're like $5.50 and one package feeds both of us. You could throw that on like a George Foreman grill. I mean, it cooks up so, so quickly, quickly because it's so thin. Yeah, so we're gonna look for some more because it's really good. Yeah, see, Joe's friend said it's so, that shaved beef is so, so good. So good. Uh, Amber said ostrich meat is very lean and high in protein. That's the other thing we did. We didn't do ostrich meat, but we did do bison. Bison yeah. is very high in protein, but, very lean. But I gotta tell ya, I I wanna feel fancy with the bison, but I all I do when I'm eating bison is be like, I wish this was beef because it is so lean. It is so lean. You would think that I'm like, man, I want bison burger because wow, that's so fancy. But yeah, all I think about is like, I would just love some more hamburger with, with the cream cheese in it. Right family said she thinks Walmart has the shaved beef. We'll have to look. Ooh, that would be a game changer. <laughs> Chris said ostrich is difficult to catch though. It is. They're, they're mean animals. Have you ever gone to a zoo and met an ostrich? Oh, I know. They're like, you want to feed them? No. Uh, Steph said, canned chicken has gotten to where it just doesn't seem like real chicken fake meat. Yeah, a lot of them I don't like. The one that we like is the one from Costco. Yeah. Uh, which generally doesn't have anything Same added Same thing with the it. tuna fish. There was But a, now they got a new one that I don't like. They've added MSG to yeah. it. Yeah. So you got to definitely read your label. The Wild Caught, is that the, the name of it? Or Wild Planet. Wild Planet. Wild tuna Planet fish. tuna fish does not have the vegetable juice in it. I, I feel really I'm much better about it. Beth said, I just made that last minute mistake of making keto chow ice cream, but I didn't cook it. Now I have to remove it from the ice cream maker and make it tomorrow. It isn't completely, uh, freezing completely. Maybe, did you use butter with it? Um, let's see. I'm looking forward to the, oh, the, the video. I've been wanting to do this for a while. It, it's always interesting to see what works for you. We love challenges. It keeps it interesting, right? I mean, may not, like, Joe is never going to want to live on an egg fast. 
I, I know that for certain. I don't care what you mix with it. He's going to be like, please let me stop eating all of these eggs. So Joe's friend said, I agree. I'm choking down a can of chicken at a time to get rid of my hurricane stash already. Sometimes it is good to clean out your pantry because that is another side effect of this challenge, which I don't think we were thinking about was we went to the pantry to see like, are there other things in here that we could use during this time? Like um, seaweed, uh, chips like the yeah like the was like the wasabi flavored what what are they called seaweed things that they, they're they're good too right um but we found all kinds of things in our pantry yeah that was like a gajillion years we found we found some miracle noodles from like i don't know the carter administration i think the good thing with that what we uh, what we really do for the most part for the chicken breast what we've done is we went to bj's and we bought a bag of the chicken breast the frozen chicken breasts that are individually packaged which are super convenient and then we just pull them out because they defrost super quick and they're much cheaper than buying the fresh and we've just been using that and we got a recipe out of it that's yeah, we coming did. we did there's a chicken recipe on its way because we did this because we did it that's right chris wants to know is there a video on how to make keto chow ice cream yeah we have a couple of videos on it basically there's two different ways number one make a keto chow and then pour it into an ice cream maker or um, if you don't have patience like us, because we don't I'm have a very impatient person, yes. if you have a, a good high quality blender like a Vitamix, Ninja. you could add the ingredients in with a bunch of ice and use a tamper and it will make ice cream. But you have to have a high quality blender. It doesn't work with just any blender. No, you need one of those scary You need like modes. a Vitamix or a really high, like a, a high quality blend tech or one a Ninja. Of the, something that's got a variable speed with a tamper so that you can tamp the ice Something that you're pretty sure you could throw a can down and it would chop it up. Mm -hmm. One of those blenders. Um, okay, back to hot dogs. Serious question for Joe or Rachel. Do you all wrap your hot dogs in lettuce? No. <laughs> no. We know you do. We know he's got his hot dog and lettuce. So in eating, trying to eat low I fat, wrap it in cheese, though. In, well, I wrap it in cheese idea. and put it in the microwave. In, in trying to eat low fat, Rachel decided to buy turkey dogs. Oh, dear Lord. That's just a mistake. I, I have Now there's a lesson. package of turkey dogs, like, and good ones, too, like, with, like, no fillers or no anything nitrate. like that. No nitrates. You know, I don't have a problem with nitrates. But... Yeah, they're, now nobody wants to eat them they're, because they're so bland. I even tried taking some cheese and making a folio. I took like a half an ounce of cheese. I put it on a plate. I melted it down. Then I put the hot dog in there. I wrapped it up and cooked it till it got crispy. So it was like a hot dog and a cheese blanket. Still no flavor. Okay, so you want to hear what this joker did? We're going, we were going to Tractor Supply to get some bedding. And so we get into the car and he goes... Hey, I just made like a you know a cheese wrap turkey hot dog. If you're not gonna drink the zip fest, I'll drink. No, it. no, no, I'm gonna drink it. Would you like half of? Would you like half of it? And he hands it to me like, here, I wanted to share with you. And I took a bite of that. I'm like, you are not trying to share this with me. You're trying to get rid of this thing because it tastes like nothing. It tasted like nothing. <laughs> Steph said, I ordered some strawberry, caramel, pumpkin spice, and cake batter extracts to free our keto chow. It, those are, that changes the flavor altogether. Mm -hmm. I love, especially like the, the Girl Scout cookie ones are good. And Oreo. Uh, Joe's friend did Frank's wing sauce and blue cheese. Wasn't quite doing it for her though. I put the Frank's Red Hot sauce on the turkey dog in the hopes of like making it have a taste. <laughs> Nancy said I use canned chicken for pizza crust. That's pretty much what we always yeah. have it for, for if we want a pizza crust. I do like it as a pizza crust. Yeah, we have a we actually have a video on how we do it. We do ours a little bit different than like Keto Connect and a couple other people do it. Yeah, I think we have a video of that. And, we and, do. And we did pizza week. We yeah, we did do a, another pizza week. Pizza week is a challenge that I can get on board with. Let's do another pizza week. Mike said Costco sells packages of their rotisserie chicken meat in a vacuum sealed pouch. That might come in handy for protein sparing modified fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just remember that uh, once again, they're another one. We'll buy it once in a while, uh, but a lot of the rotisserie chickens are pumped with some sugar, some dextrose, some um, uh, maltodextrin. It's definitely one. Yeah. We'll still eat it once pinch. in a while, but it's not super, super clean. My feeling is, is you know, don't I wouldn't eat it for three meals a day no. every single day, but it does have some some stuff to Miriam it. Miriam says she would do an egg, egg fast again because she is like me. I will do an egg fast all day long. Like, I love eggs. Shelly said I could crush a ribeye challenge. Anything else I'm going to pass. Ooh, I, 
I'm up for a ribeye challenge. I think we should do a ribeye challenge. Miriam baby. said she'll join. Ribeye I challenge. even tried to get Rachel to go to to uh, what should we call the other day? I'm like, hey, you want to end the protein fast today? And I was going to take her to Texas Roadhouse. She's like, no. I I was like, let's just finish like we intended. But yes, of course I want. But I want prime rib. Can we do a prime rib challenge? I would do a prime rib challenge. Can we do that for Steph a week? Steph said eggs are the number one main source of my eating. Very seldom do I have less than 10 eggs throughout the day. Yeah, we usually we average like four eggs. to five eggs a day. We actually have We thought. actually haven't been eating that many right now because there's too much fat, you know, in multiple it's been eggs. Sad. There's like two eggs and then a bunch of egg whites. It's been sad. James said, I'm still stuck at 260 on my weight for the last three months or so, but I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Just keep doing keep it. Keep doing it. That is amazing. You're having an amazing success. I love just seeing your beautiful face. Mike just finished his last ribeyes in the fit, fridge. I have a vac sealed a whole bunch of them last week. It is time to go and get some more ribeyes. If we're out of ribeyes, we gotta we gotta get some more ribeyes. Carlos says, uh, your birthday is Sunday. Mm. I will be 65. Okay, yes. It's the same person. That is awesome. Beef hot dogs are the best. Yes, beef hot dogs for the win. Beef. Will the chickens eat? Can you scroll down a little bit? Oh, nope, the other way. Whoop. Gail says. Where, which one are you looking I'm at? I'm trying it. You have to. Will the chickens eat those bland turkey dogs? I've been <gasps> trying. Yes, let's do that. Gail, they will eat anything. Especially lizards. Yes. Oh my gracious. They've been ripping apart the lizards in our backyard, which doesn't usually really make me sad, but yeah. Yeah, Chris said chickens will eat anything. Yeah, so I built in an automatic watering system. I, I got a 55 gallon drum collecting rainwater off of the gutters and then with automatic waterers. And as I was trying to silicone them in, one of them decided to come over and was gonna eat the silicone like off of like the pipe in my hand. You have to I'm lock. Like, Get out. <laughs> you have to like stop them because they think <laughs> food? Is this food? Uh, Chris said, uh, Shelly Parker, fun announcement, no hints. I have no idea what, what's happening on the live. Ooh, okay. Okay. Mike says, I'll have to check the package at Costco next time I go. Yeah. Oh, bye bears. Okay. <laughs> um, Slapstick says, I have no interest in eating low fat. Yeah, it's, it has not been fun. <laughs> Y'all have fun. <laughs> I keep messing up on my keto. Vintage uh, Girl says, finish the shift just in time to hop on and say hello, my keto fam. Great job on the Coop guys and the Step Squad this month. Rachel, yeah, we're continuing to get it in. You got to just be resilient in between the raindrops. Jenna said, put the iguanas in their pen. Yes. Let us do that. You're in charge of wrangling the, the iguanas. <laughs> they have been everywhere in our neighborhood. Shelly said, I'm supposed to remind everyone about the Keto Chell Live on Monday. All right. Chris wanted you to tell everyone to watch the Monday, Monday morning live. Yeah. Well, now I'm excited. So, oh, I actually knew about this. I forgot about it. He didn't tell me to mention it. So, I'm, wow. Monday morning. So, the Keto Chell goes live at 11.15 every day, except for Sunday. You mean 11 15, No, Mountain. Or 11.15 our time. 9.15 their time. Okay. Um, and on Monday, they have a very special announcement. So make sure you tune in for their special announcement. Are they going to start Monday. producing beef hot dogs at their facility? I don't know. I'm excited. I don't know. Keto chow hot dogs. Maybe they'll have like some kind of cookies or something like that. No, I actually know what it is, but I can't say anything. I'm excited. So how do you make but keto we will, ice cream? We will be delaying our keto on the couch video until after their live stream. I will say yeah. that. So the live keto on the couch will not come up until about eleven thirty on Monday. Uh, Mike said, I also snagged three chubs of hamburger for nine ninety nine. That has been seventeen dollars for a wow. while. Wow. Wow, that's nice. Steph says, where are y'all like clicks? Thank you. Yeah, Christopher like said, uh, Keto Chow's going to sell ice cream by the pint. <laughs> Don't you think they should? I think that would be very convenient. <laughs> okay. We've been on for an hour, sort of. I mean, we went Across off for two. four minutes that I didn't know about, but sorry about that. <laughs> uh, we, we solved all of the crises of the world in that four-minute gap. 
We did. We did. We, we handled it. We had so all the answers. Make sure you guys are signed up for the Redmond Fasting Group. Uh, you can go ahead and sign up. It's the same thing. It's a private group. There's like 15,000 people in there. We're going to go on live on there a couple of times. And then, again, the fast starts on Thursday. It's only 24 hours. I think Christopher said he's going to be camping. So he's like, How yeah, fun. I'm not missing camping food. No, that is so <laughs> fun. That's exciting. Shelly said, I'm at work during the live, so someone please message me the announcement. We will let you know. So, yeah, so uh, we will uh, do that red and fasting thing next week. Keto on the couch will come out at 1130 Steph on Monday. Steph is crocheting some squares. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I love it. Yeah, Christopher said, I'm not stamp it, uh, fasting while I'm Do camping. not miss out, because you're going to get, he gets to have a hot dog on a stick on a campfire that I'm not having. Okay. Bye, guys. We love you.